producing the show. Uh, she tours the United States. She's very, very funny. Please put your hands together. Victoria Arnstein. Yeah. Really, really, my whole world's been turned around lately. It's been really, really bad. I'm sorry, I don't mean to complain, but I don't know if you heard when the news broke out about Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. I just, I can't go on. I don't know what else to do. Like, it's, it's stopping everything for me. You too? You feel that way? Right? It's horrible. I don't know. I just think it's really funny that um, now the Fresh Prince of Bel Air has higher rank than Harry. <laughs> Anybody else feel that way? Oh my god. Anybody know some fun facts? I've been looking at fun facts about Meghan Markle. Anybody know about Meghan Markle? She was a magician. Did you guys know that? Yeah, like, how did she pull that rabbit out of a hat? I, I, I have no idea how she did that. I mean, come on, think about it. I mean, she was American when she met uh, Harry. She was American. She's 36,000 years old. She was divorced, right? And no prenup? Are you kidding me? And now she got this guy to get away from the royal family and step down from his royal duties? How? I, I have to teach my daughters magic. Like, that's I have to. Magic school. Nothing to up. Oh, man. So, and you know what else is pissing me off? My God, I don't know what else to do also about Cardi B wanting to leave the United States. Like, how am I going to go on? Oh, all these things are happening. It's too fast. Oh. So, uh, yeah, you know what also bothers me? Anybody feel this way about cults and, um, and those communities, like really special communities? You know what I'm talking about? Those communities that think they're better than you are? You know, like the blind people? <laughs> yeah, like them and their braille. Like, oh, well, you could read braille. You're so fucking talented. Good for you. You know, they do everything we can do. Honestly, but like in the dark. Like, how talented do they have to fucking be, right? Like, they're show offs. Fuck them. <laughs> and the deaf people with their fucking language? Okay, we get it, okay? Fuck you. <laughs> oh, so annoying. Oh, you know what's annoying? Cancer. Anybody else think so? <laughs> right? Who's with me on cancer being annoying? That zodiac sign? Am I right? <laughs> you guys, anybody here at cancer? Yeah? So you're annoying? How about that can how about a cancer survivor? Anybody uh data cancer? <coughs> Alright, you know they're the crab. You know they're the crab, right? They're the most uh, protective of their mate. And I can say this because my boyfriend is a cancer. And he hates that I have a husband. He <laughs> I'm kidding, he doesn't hate it. Because he's not real, even my fantasies are annoying. Oh god, I can't even get that straight. No, but I am married. I'm married 20 years. Just celebrate 20 year wedding anniversary, guys. Thank you. It was a very special anniversary. Oh my God, my husband took me to this supermarket, and it was <laughs> not just any supermarket. It was Whole Foods, right? So I'm crushing it. Yeah. Now my husband goes away for a long periods of time. It's starting to get to me. I'm starting to talk to myself so much so that I finally went to go see a doctor. You know, uh, just to get my um. My body felt up. <laughs> At least he said he was a doctor. He was wearing white. The point is, it's not cheating if it's a doctor, ladies. Take notes. <laughs> Take notes. Yeah, um, and I got very lucky because it was a very thorough examination. It's a little too low coverage, so I'm going back on Tuesday. <laughs> it's important to take care of your health is my message here today. I can't go to my old doctor anymore. He got so angry the last time I went. I wanted to save time, so I just stripped down to nothing. He was my eye doctor. But <laughs> you can never be too thorough, you know? Plus, the waiting room was uh, better lighting. Oh, guys, catch on, catch on. Stay with me. Oh, my God. My husband's always asking me those annoying questions, you know, those type of questions like, oh, when are you going to do the dishes? When are you going to take out the garbage? Why do you got to flirt with the UPS man? <laughs> I said, get it straight. It's a USPS man, okay? <laughs> Clearly wearing different outfits. Now to end his confusion, I have to hang out with the FedEx guy, too. <laughs> and the pool boy. <laughs> we don't have a pool. But my friends have a pool table, and I go there a lot, so. Uh, yeah, so my husband's seven years younger than I am. And, uh, yeah, I don't have a joke for that. I just want to let you know. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, anyone a feminist here? I'm here for the feminists. Anybody a feminist? Yeah, feminists. 
That is so. That is so funny on my shit. I'm not gonna lie. My husband's starting to think we're equal now, and I'm so much more superior than he is. Like lately, he's been asking me to do this thing called um, work. That was hard. I said, "What do I need you for? I got the pool boy, the USPS guy, FedEx guy." Because I feel like all day, every day, all I do is work for you. That's all I do is work for you. I said, oh my God, honey. You're right, tick tock, break time's over. Who said you could talk to me? <laughs> Wrap that shit up. I figured if I ever did work, I'd work for my husband. I could take my long hours, long breaks, long vacations. Anybody in the office has a problem with it? Take it up with my boss. I'm sleeping with him. <laughs> my boss wants to fire me? Sue him for sexual harassment. No need for March, ladies. Stick with me. <laughs> oh, my God. This woman came up to me after the show once. Seriously, she came up to me. She goes, don't you want to work and make your own money? I said, no. I want my husband to work and make my own money. So she goes, don't you want to contribute to the world? I said, what do you do? She goes, I'm a cake decorator. I said, oh, so you contribute to obesity? Well, not die. Well, you know what? I got three kids in the bad ones and no one fucking died, all right? What do, do you think they're calling in time of war, huh? Skilled. Thank you. Oh, my God. I hate kids. <laughs> oh, not everybody's kids, just mine. Oh. <laughs> it's so clingy and expensive, you know? I have to pay for everything with the money my husband gives me. <laughs> I have to pay for their food. I have to pay for their violin lessons. I have to pay other children to play with them. <laughs> I'm kidding, they don't play violin, I'm not a monster. <laughs> oh, my 13-year-old, oh no, you know, I want to just say, uh, my friends give me a hard time because I give my kids an eating disorder. To save money? Anybody? Any parents? That's a good tip, by the way. No, really, truly. Not the kind of eating, eating disorder where um, they throw up their food. I'm a Jewish mother. I would never do that. That's a waste of food and money. The kind where I tell them they're fat, and then over time, they fucking don't eat dinner, and that shit adds up. How else am I going to get that Porsche, guys, okay? Oh, oh my 13-year-old is a pain in my ass, because, ugh, she still lives with us. <laughs> Yeah, you know, she walked in and my husband and I having sex. That's a true story. I said, don't you knock? She goes, you're in the kitchen! <laughs> Details. I said, why are you eating? I thought I gave you an eating disorder. <laughs> oh, now, now, to end the, you know, now I have to, you know, give her that long, awkward talk. You know the one. I have to tell her she has to move out. <laughs> don't call child services. Or call child services. Either way, it's a win. I'm alone. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, uh, my son uh, is a gamer. You guys know what that is? Yeah. It's another word for loser, right? <laughs> He's driving in the car the other day. He looks out the window. He goes, hey, Ma, how many points have I hit that old lady out there? I know. I said, oh, my God. You've been gaming your whole life. You don't know what's 10 points? 10 fucking points. <laughs> oh. So, I went to parent-teacher conference. You guys know what that is? It's when the parents show the teachers that they give a shit about their kids. So I went, and there was this one teacher. She was totally judging me. She looked at me up and down. She says, what's it like being a stay-at-home mom? I said, excuse me? What makes you think I'm a stay-at-home mom? She goes, uh, your pajamas? I was like, yeah, I'll have you know that this outfit happens to be a writer's uniform. I write from home. She goes, who do you write for? I said, I don't want to brag or anything, but I write for this really large network. I'm sure you heard of it. It's called... Facebook. Uh. I upload on the daily, all right? That's how I work. So I wanted to one-up her, and I go, where did you graduate? She goes, I graduated top of my class at NYU with some Latin sorority shit, like, Master Beta, come harder. <laughs> I said, yeah, well, you got to stay with my kid all day and teach him shit. She's like, you win. <laughs> oh, boy, guys. Let's give it up for yourselves for being here tonight, guys. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, man. So, um, I took this DNA test and I uh, found out I was Jewish. Yeah, what a surprise. I got it on sale. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Oh, man. You know, I question a lot of religion. You know, like Moses, right? He had to take the Jews out of slavery, out of Egypt, and he walks around with these complaining bitches 40 years. And then he does one sin... And he can't get into the promised land? That's the fucking problem? Moses is the problem? Really? You know what? I question that. You know why? Because I'm like, all these Jews around, not one fucking lawyer can get them into that land? I'm <laughs> not buying that shit. How about this? How about this? Uh, Mary, okay? Like, uh, can we talk about Mary? I'm a Jewish mother. I can talk about her. 
Mary, 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 okay? Was she consented by God? Like, was that the first me too? <laughs> Who cares anyway, really? Because that was probably the best orgasm ever, am I right? <laughs> you had to made it out after that. You know who I had before you. <laughs> By the way, this is how I would uh, picture Jesus Christ and Muhammad. If you, they were um, friends, like, like as teenagers, all right? Muhammad's like, hey, Jesus, my bro, what's up? Jesus is like, hey, what's up, Muhammad? Hey, yeah, nothing. Uh, Muhammad's like, hey, Jesus, uh, your mom, she's pretty hot. <laughs> she looks really young for her age. And Jesus is like, yeah, I know, I get that a lot. She had me when she was young. He's like, yeah, you know, is she still a virgin? <laughs> and Jesus is like, uh, yeah, she told me she was. In fact, she told everybody she was. I don't know why she told everybody. But anyway, um, yeah, she is. Why do you ask? And Muhammad's like, oh, no reason. Turns over to his tablet where it says 72 virgins, <laughs> number one. Mary. <laughs> Too far? I don't know why. I don't, I, don't, I don't know why I don't have a Netflix special, guys. That's, that's a little bit crazy. Uh, so what else could I talk about with you guys? What do you guys want to talk about? Where are you from? Original? Yeah. Boston. All right. Now where are you from now? <laughs> All right, Brooklyn. That's where I'm from, guys. I'm a Brooklyn book from the 70s. Not everybody's a winner now, you know? No, not that one. <laughs> I think the Italians and the Jews went to war, like that one. Yeah, that's where I'm from, the 70s. My daughter actually said this to me today. She's like, Mom, can I date? I'm like, How? what, you're 13? So she goes, yeah, I know. I said, no, you can't date yet. That's too young. She goes, why? I said, because I went out with boys, and I'm just going to leave it at that. She goes, yeah, but that was like in the 1900s. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> bitch. <laughs> So I'll leave you with this. Autocorrect gets me in trouble. Anybody have that problem with autocorrect? Oh my god. Autocorrect gets me in trouble. I innocently wrote to my grandfather, Hi grandpa, I'm coming to town. Are you around? He's like, what kind of question is that? And I look at my phone and it said, uh, Hi grandpa, I'm coming to town. Are you aroused? <laughs> my phone knows me so well. Because I say that word a lot. And because he's hot. For 93! For 93! Oh my god, he's so cute. I took him to the gym after my grandmother died because he wanted to, you know, get support, you know, like moral support. And I'm like, uh, he goes, Victoria, what machine's gonna make me sexy and book for the ladies? I go, Grandpa, you're adorable. It's the ATM machine. Now give me five bucks of 20. That Porsche isn't buying itself. Anyway, thank you so much, guys. I really